Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. Today is Sunday and um, yeah, so welcome to my weekly painting tutorial. And I'll be painting a candle today. You know, I've painted a lot of candle paintings. Um, both uh, tutorial, um, tutorial paintings and non-tutorials. Especially when I was just beginning my art journey. I was painting a lot of candles because I just love painting the light and I love painting dimensions and light and dark um, contradictions, um, shadows and all that. So today I decided to paint another light because it's been a while since the last time I painted candle, a candle. So here we go. So I'll be using my new brushes that I just had last week. So I bought this online. Uh, <laughs> They're actually um, not that expensive, so they are relatively cheap, and uh, I just want to try some new brushes now, I mean today, I mean for this painting tutorial, and since we'll be doing a focus subject painting, we'll, we'll be, we will be using only a few colors, so the colors will be listed in the description box below, so you can check them out, and the colors are as follows, we have cerulean blue, um, I don't know if I'll be using red, but I'm just gonna prepare red. And brown red or burnt sienna, if you don't have the brown red. And cadmium yellow, titanium white, and black. So let's begin now. So I'm gonna underpaint first my square wooden sheet. Again, I'm using my wooden sheet. Um, I'm just gonna underpaint it. And the underpainting will also serve as the background. So I'm going to prepare first my colors because I really did not um, prepare. <laughs> I really did not prepare too much today for this. Usually when I start the video, the colors are already laid, laid down on the palette. But uh, I just decided to just show you how I'm... Uh, getting paints <laughs> live and let me just get my white there was this one person who told me that he felt a little you know like anxious while uh, looking at my paints being contaminated by the white the black paint being contaminated by the white but you know I am not a very OC type of person when it comes to my painting materials. I can really dip this white palette knife onto this black. Simply because it's black, it's too strong for it to be affected by the white. Meaning even if I accidentally drop a little bit of white on, into this um, black paint, it will still turn out to be black. That's why I don't worry too much about that. Anyway, so let's background first the canvas. So I'll be using yellow and my brown red. Okay. And let me just identify first where. So this will be it's like, like the little plate where the candle is placed. Okay. And then I'll be using also white. And a little bit of. I'm just mixing white, yellow, and black. This is just the background. If you prefer to have another background color, you can do whatever it is that you want. But yellow, the background that I'm doing is actually um, more uh, like more scientifically <laughs> correct because uh, of the light. Okay. I told you we will be painting the light. So when we paint the light, the background should suggest... Okay, my canvas is not... Okay, the background su should suggest that there is light going on. Does that make sense? So I'm just going to use brown and white and yellow. As the background, it's very abstract-ish. You don't have to worry too much. But... My suggestion is for the background to at least make sense, okay? 
We don't want the background to be pink and then the uh, color of the candlelight is more on the yellow side. I mean, of course we can do that, but um, it just doesn't make sense if we're trying to paint realistically, okay? All right, so you can see that the background is more on yellowish side. I'll be getting my black. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of darkness in certain areas. Okay, more brown, <laughs> more brown right here. All right, so just like that. It's very abstract, but it's suggestive of what we will be making today. I know it's just a background. You can definitely do away with the background, okay? I'm not trying to uh, force you to copy the exact same thing. This is just a suggestion. And I'm just gonna relayer it with a little bit of light yellow right here so that it's more bright because the light will be shining more towards the right side. So this area should be a little brighter. Okay, just like that. And for the this area, I'll be using black. Later, this will make sense. For now, let's just do as I, uh, you know, do what I'm doing. Just follow what I'm doing. Since I already told you that the light will be um, towards the right side, the left side should not be as bright as the right side, okay? This is what it's for. The contrast. I'll be using a little bit of gray color. Some areas here will be painted over, especially when we do the candle. When we start doing the candle, a lot of this area will be painted over. brushes I mean this brush that I'm using it's new and it's not bad at all okay now I'm gonna sketch where the candle is so I'll be using blue and white so it's gonna be a little more on the light blue side you can see it on camera it's not just focused but I'll be using a light blue color but since I use black and yellow colors you can see that the light blue color is now toned down, which I like. Okay. I think I'll be using a little bit of brown just to tone it down even more. Okay, just like this. All right, and then let me just start the sketch part. You know, I love painting candles. I just love painting candles. I'm obsessed with candle painting. I don't know if, um, because uh, not only it practices me to paint the light, but it also uh, practices me to paint some sort of liquid, like melting wax. And it's just so nice, right? Don't you find it nice when you paint like wax and melting things, like ice cream, like similar things. I'm just going to use that blue color right here. This will serve as the underpainting. Okay. I'm not really touching 
too much here because it's still wet but it's drying so so I'm just gonna underpaint first with some blue and I'll be adding a little bit of brown to make the blue quite dark a little bit toned down Again, this is very, very preliminary. Okay, I'm gonna use more uh, bluish brown and I'm gonna do a little bit of um, vertical brush strokes to suggest the body of the candle. I'm adding a little more brown. So just do it in a more vertical motion. Okay. Okay. I'll be adding more brown right here. We're just playing with the light, okay? Okay. Later, this will make sense to you guys. For now, let's just do this. Okay. Enjoy the step-by-step -step process. I'm gonna get my black, and let's create more shadow on the left, on the right side. So here. Oops. I'm just gonna reapply some black paint on the red um, that side. Okay, I know that it does not make sense at the moment, but trust me on this one. This will make sense later. I'm going to wash my brush out, or I'm just going to use another brush because I want to make use of my new paint brushes. I'm going to dab on to my white, okay? Maybe I can add a little bit of blue, but most do more dominantly white, okay? And I'm going to use this color to create some highlight okay i'm gonna start doing the highlight let's see this is where the wax will start And also make the edge a little more like um, uneven since the candle is melting uh, we should um, uh, paint suggestions of softness on the wax portion I'll be adding more blue 
I'm just gonna paint the next part right below that highlighted portion Just like that. I'll be using more white. I'll be getting so I'll be using really some violet not red okay so I'll be getting my violet a little bit of that color I'll be mixing it with the blue and the white I'll be adding a little bit of brown and I'm just going to push it down right here. And some more browns. And then more lighter color. I mean, lighter color is right here. I'm gonna wash my brush out or I can simply use another brush I'm gonna use a smaller brush I'm gonna get the purple blue mixture okay and I'm just gonna color this area with that color and of course I'm gonna use my fingers to apply the color and then I'm gonna get my blue and white
the reason why I'm using my fingers in blending or in applying the paint is because um, it gives the painting a more smoother, a more smooth look than if I just simply use um, a paintbrush. Okay, mm -hmm. just like that. I'm going to use the violet color and blue just to separate the melted wax, the melted wax from the, it's like the rim of the melted wax. And let's just get back to using some black color. Some markings. And I'm gonna mix that black with my violet so that we create some natural indentations on the candle. Just gonna use that and some browns. Just like that. And I'm gonna use a little bit of bright yellow. I'm gonna get my white and yellow. More white, actually. Okay, maybe a little bit of brown. And let's color, let's color this part of the candle, of the, it's like the plate. Or the candle holder to suggest brightness. I'm gonna use the same color to make some more like design. Hmm. And I'm gonna use a little bit of yellow, okay, just along the highlight highlighted portion of the melted wax very subtle yellow color
just gonna get my white and then using white I'm going to create some highlights I'm going to go around again. Okay, that and I'm just going to make sure that this area near the light is brighter not too much but it should show a little bit of difference also here. so i'm applying it using my hands or using my finger and then i'm just gonna go over this area very lightly it's like softening it. And I'm just so excited to do the light now. I'm just so excited to do that part. <laughs> okay. For the, you know, the candle wick, I'm just going to use brown and yellow. Okay, again, brown and yellow. And maybe a little bit of black just to tone down. Okay, and this will be the underpainting for the candle wick. Okay, and I'm just going to... Let's create like a um, rope, rope-like um, image here. That's the underpainting, of course. All right, and then I'm gonna get the light yellow that we had earlier. Let's create some, some lines like that. Maybe I'm just going to change my brush. I'm going to use my black. It's like a, when it's a burning candle, the candle wick must be also burning. Right? There must be suggestion of burnt portion of candle wick. Candle, candle wick. Not candle wick. <laughs> a 
I'm sorry guys. Candle week, not candle wheat. Like so. Okay, and of course, if there are burnt candle, I mean, if there are burnt um, parts of the candle wick, we should also, you know, those burnt areas that are floating on the wax, melted wax. You see those, I mean, when the candle is almost, um, what do you call that? When I mean, it's almost done, like when the wax or when the fire I can't explain. <laughs> you know those floating things? <laughs> um, when you have a candle and the candle wick is also being burnt. So the ashes, the burnt parts fall down. Okay. And it falls into the melted wax. <laughs> I have so many explanations. For sure you know what I meant. <laughs> And I'm just gonna make some dark markings. This is just markings. All right, just like that. Okay, so that's the candle wick. We will definitely, definitely do more work on the base. But for now, let's just leave it like that, okay? And I'm gonna do the fire, which is my favorite part, actually. That's the whole point why I chose to paint a candle today. I wanted to paint some light, not the not just the candle wax. For the underpainting of the the fire, I'm gonna use yellow. A little bit of brown, maybe. Okay. Alright, and then let's start creating. So the fire should begin. Okay, right here. Okay, just like that. Up to here. It's gonna be a huge, huge um, fire. And all the way back. All right, just like that. We're just sketching it. And I'll be using this to underpaint underpaint the fire. Okay, just like that. And then we'll be painting over it with some white. It's okay if it's still wet because we're trying to layer it, okay? To make the underpainting more solid. The more we layer the fire area, the brighter it will become. The, fi the brighter the fire is.
Okay, I'm gonna switch brush. I'm gonna get my light blue. Okay, and then mix it with white. I'm just gonna apply that blue color under the yellow portion. I'm just waiting for the yellow paint to dry because I cannot just yet paint over it or layer it. Okay. I'm waiting for it to dry. We can definitely go back to some areas of the painting. I want to make it a little more fat. Okay, just like that. I'm making some adjustments. So I'm making the mouth more big. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, just like what we did earlier, if we apply some violet colors, we're going to apply the same thing if we're just adjusting it. some red colors some browns Then some black. some browns okay and then we're going to separate the candle from the background by um, applying some dark color just to separate it we don't want the candle to be like to appear as if it's just pasted on the background we want to make sure that it's separate from the background that the background is just a part of the painting, not, not the main subject. Okay. And I 
see Snow White. I'm gonna have to make some adjustment okay I need to apply a little bit of light blue here because I think I made I made a mistake right here because of perspective okay just like that Okay, so I just made the mouth wider. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's apply it right here. Mm -hmm. It's going to make some more markings. Okay, now I think the can the fire part is already dry, so I'm just gonna use white and start covering it with white. Yeah, I think it's not fully dry, but it's pretty much uh, okay for layering. Okay, there are some people outside like laughing and all that and I hope you don't hear them. like that and I actually want to make this a little more bright but I'm gonna wait for this to dry because if we rush we're going to just you know ruin everything so I'm gonna use this color on my paintbrush and I'm gonna dab onto my yellow we're gonna dry brush guys so remove the excess water from the paint okay water water from the paintbrush and just make sure that it's damp Okay, and then I'm going to do some
some of that like creating some light effect and um, although I ask you to remove the excess paint my paintbrush is drying so quick so I need to damp it a little more okay. let's go around that area I'm going to use the same color on the background just to suggest um, diffusion of light. brownie colors or yellowy color just to make things more balanced So again, the background should be a little more on the abstract side. Okay. I'm just gonna get more white. So brighten the centermost part of the fire or the light. The centermost. This will give it the illusion, the illusion, the illusion of brightness. like that and again the sides just paint along this area I'm gonna get my yellow and brown. Let's go back to the candle wick. Let's give it a suggestion of um, like it's there, but the fire is too bright for us to actually see the details of the candle wick. Right. 
Just going to use another brush. Going to create some white markings right there. And I'm going to whiten or brighten this part. And then Okay, I'm going to get my blue. Let's make sure that this area is blue. Okay. Just remove that yellow outline that we did earlier. then a little bit of blue color just along this area just make sure that it's quite soft and also a little bit of blue colors like here mm -hmm. just like that okay I need to make the light super bright, but then I have to wait for it to dry. Okay. I'm gonna get some orange color. So this is the time when I need to use um, red. Or I'm just gonna use my brown red to create orange. So if you have orange, that would be good. Okay. So I'm just gonna get my yellow and brown red to create a little bit of orangey color a little bit of white so like this and i'm just gonna go around okay i'm gonna mix it with white so that it's a little brighter than the background okay maybe more white just gonna go around the light area and the top I'm gonna get brown I'm gonna apply a little bit of brown color markings all right 
I really need to brighten. Okay. Anyway, I'm just gonna use while waiting for that light to dry. I'm gonna use watered down white, and I'm gonna soften this area by applying some watered down white. I'm going to apply a little bit of white on the candle. super thick white. I'm applying it with super thick white. Just to make sure that it appears bright. Okay. Super thick. All right, just like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to apply a little bit of watered down white okay, right there, but then again, not too much. Okay, my neighbor is so noisy. I can hear them talking. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to do some glazing, okay, over this area, the bottom portion of the candle. This is to suggest um, absence of bright light down here. So using a fairly wide brush, I'm just going to use my black. I'm going to water it down. And I'm going to swipe that black color and... You know, try to darken this area without painting over what we did. Just darken it. Right? Just darken. Yeah, just like what I did. And then, just darken it. Again, you don't want to paint over the areas that we did. You just want to darken it. gonna get more browns wanna look we wanna make it look natural using pure white let's just add more detailing
I'm going to whiten as well this area. Just to suggest more brightness. And a little bit of uh, light. So you probably have noticed already that we use a lot of white to emphasize light and um, this is how candle paintings are done. I mean, as to me, that's how I do it. Violet. some browns. Also here. And some melted um, wax like falling or running down. bit of yellow I know that oops it's not yellow it's more of a dirty yellow so I know that we did a lot I mean for a candle but that's how it is and I'm gonna adjust this Part. Okay.
just adding more and more details. Mm -hmm. My cat, my my hand is <laughs> out of control. Okay. Add more white. Okay, I think this is good. What do you think? Okay, so I think I'm just going to add a little more brightness by adding more white because I'm obsessed. Yes, I really like this one. Ooh, finally. I don't know why I'm getting that color. I'm not even... Uh, okay, good. This is, this is nice. This is very nice. Again, the background is more of a suggestion. So I'm just going to use a little more yellow on that area. So that... Um, It gives off that bright, bright light um, illusion. Okay, and there's no particular pattern I'm applying it. I just want to make sure that there is yellow and white color to suggest brightness. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drag a little bit of yellow color right here. Just to be consistent. Mm -hmm. I think this is good. Alright. So I'm going to sign this now because, yeah, I think this is, I'm quite happy about this one. 
I'm going to use my white and I'm going to sign right here. Okay, and we're finished. So I hope you enjoy that one and I hope you paint along with me. I'm going to um, link in the description box below the link to my candle painting tutorials my other candle painting tutorials so that you can choose from among them including this one so see you next week and see you in my next video bye guys mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. love you